Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Carter. Good morning, Anna. <laughs> I am in my kitchen doing a quarantine cooking video for y'all, and I've got my two wonderful sons. So in many the words you could use. Everybody's in there. quarantine. <laughs> <sighs> These greens look great. Thank you. They're a delight to have around. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to share. <laughs> we are so lucky. We have spent almost every day of the last 30 years together. <laughs> almost every day. The good days and the bad. For 30 years. Mm -hmm. We see that look a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, Mama. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Wait on me. <clears throat> Everybody loves our collard green shell. Everybody. Mm. And so I, I have shown y'all before, but I'm going to show you again. But this time, I'm going to show you how I cook them in my pressure cooker. That's right. I've got a Paula Dean <laughs> pressure cooker that... Um, from time to time, I'm on Shop HQ with it. And I was so excited to be able to show a lot of the m millennials, you know, how useful uh, a pressure cooker is. And I think I think my sons have even, I think I've even brought them around. Uh, but you know, that everybody's heard so many horror stories of those old timey pressure cookers that you use on your stove and the top jiggles. The old ones used good. to blow up a good bit, uh, so. I heard about this woman. When Didn't really passed, use those. When she passed away, mm. they went to redo her kitchen. They found 23 of them in the ceiling of her kitchen where her <laughs> where the top had shot blown into off. Wow. Yes. So I remember when they were little and I was cooking in my pressure cooker, I wouldn't let them come in the kitchen because I was so afraid of it. But now you don't have to be afraid. It's foolproof and I love it. And what would you say, Eddie? I use this two or three times a week. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I mean, I love it. It's such a time saver. Plus, they say, because it's cooked under pressure and nothing escapes, that um, you, you redeem more of the nutrients. Holds more nutrients, so I like that. So... We are using a, uh, a bag of collard greens from the grocery store. But here's one thing I don't like. They cut them up, stem and all, and I cannot stand a stem in my collard green. I just can't stand it. And I see some right here and I'm going after them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting them. Those are the ones that Jamie uh, So ordinarily, and at the restaurant, uh, we're we're gonna be stripping, you know. We're gonna get them in oh. bunches, and uh huh. We're gonna be stripping them. Which restaurant is that? <laughs> Y'all's. The Kit Kat Club. <laughs> Y'all's restaurant. The lady and the ain't son. nobody stripping ain't in our restaurant. Stripping. Oh, but the collard not, green leaf is this big, y'all. So it's got a restaurant. big old stem, and you go. Oh, look, you see, you get me so upset, I throw the stems away and gotcha. I put the stems gotcha. in the pot. I did that to you. You're I'm killing sorry. your mother. You're killing your mother. <laughs> I was just Tell him, Bobby. <laughs> tell him, son. Trying to talk. So, anyway, if you. Boom. Um, it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. You're better off to buy them by the bunches. And you want to pick up a leaf and you want to start at the root end and just strip that big old tough vein out of the center of it. And then I stack them up, cause the leaves stay whole. I stack them up and roll them up like a cigar. And then I slice them like one inch slices. That's a good method. They even make little tools that you can buy in kitchen stores and stuff to, to hold and strip them. Uh-uh. They do make handy little tools. You are kidding. To help with it. Well, maybe for Christmas. Well, maybe for it. Christmas. That's what you need. See any clothes. I'll maybe. get you a stripper for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I would tell Michael. I'm getting you a stripper. Stripper for Christmas and stick a one stripper of those for in his, Christmas. Put one of those in his stocking. <laughs> and watch him get real excited. Mad. Just mad. <laughs> so what's in the uh, pot? All right. So, Eddie, if you can get down in here. Not in this <laughs> well, the camera. <laughs> if you can get down in there, 
Um, I am cooking these collard greens in neck bones. Oh. Uh-huh, smoked, smoked neck bones. And in your pressure, uh, hog. <laughs> okay. um, so I, I cooked them in, you know, maybe, maybe a cup and a half, two cups of water, not a whole bunch, not a whole bunch of water, because you don't lose any water in a pressure cooker. You know, it doesn't evaporate. Right. So we've got a wonderful uh, Paula Dean hot sauce oh, in our that. store, and we actually serve this in the restaurants. And I'm going to put about that much <laughs> hot sauce in there. How much for that? I don't know. Maybe a tablespoon. Ooh. And now I'm going to put garlic powder. And I use powder, not salt. How much of that? Mm, that much? That much. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to put this much salt. Mm -hmm. That's what makes and home I'm cooking. And I'm gonna put this much pepper. That's what makes home cooking so good. Is this pinch and dash. Pinch and dash. Although in the cookbooks I tried to get it down to you know the actual the actual right. But you just have to play with it. And that's a tiny spoon. I know I love these little spoons. Eddie bought them for me somewhere, didn't he, Eddie? Yeah, Apotheca up in Gothstown, New Hampshire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what kind of, what's that spoon made for? It's so tiny. For me? <laughs> In my little tiny mouth? So somebody somewhere whittled those spoons <laughs> just for you. Kid. Well, I just love them. They're great. I know. Mm -hmm. But golly, I don't so know. So I probably put. Like, it may have been used for honey, maybe. That's I, what I was thinking. I bet for honey. Looks, looks like I honey. Bet. But I love them. I use them so much. It's fantastic. And they're, they're uh -huh. real wood. Yep, I love them. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> it's like a, just a little miniature wooden spoon. It's perfect. All right, so I probably put a tablespoon of a own. wet chicken base. Huh? I don't know where to come look for them. <laughs> the girls would like those, wouldn't they? They would. Oh and God, is is so Millie good. girl is Millie girl still uh, loving her doll baby? Yeah. But her doll baby more, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teresa, she loves I, doll baby. for Christmas, I started... They're all kissing each other and hugging each other. Oh, gosh. Cloud sent oh. me a picture of the two girls oh. kissing each other. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It was so sweet. It's beautiful. So, anyway, I they started hug. them... They, they walk up to each other and go, ah. Oh, they rub each other's <laughs> hands and say, Aww. Ah. And then they do it to Linton, and Linton's like, <laughs> Keep your hands off my Get hair. Away from me. Get away from me. And his hair looked like it was born by electricity. <laughs> it stands straight up everywhere. He looks like. Uh, and those eyes, the color of the sky. He looks like. Uh, <laughs> we are nobody in our family. <laughs> he looks like. He looks like. Um, was that chicken? Was it Poindexter? The chicken on, um, on, uh, golly, now, this, the cartoon, the old rooster. I say so. Yeah. <coughs> Foghorn Leg. Foghorn Leghorn. Leg wasn't well, there a little I chicken? Say. Wasn't there a little chicken on there that called yeah. Poindexter that was like this little yeah. yellow chicken with these big eyes? Yes, yes. All right, see and my big spoon on you. So what are you doing? How are you stirring a whole I'm big pot of meat with this that little spoon? This is my magic spoon. So what do you use it for besides? Everything I want. That's so tiny. I know, I love it though. All right, so back to collard greens. So you're going to cook the greens with the, in the pot yes, with the meat. I, I, and this is already cooked? Yes, I have put our neck bones in and cooked them for 15 minutes under pressure. That's all? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's, short time. Well, you know how I taught you how to make a pot roast in it. Mm -hmm. You know how quickly you can do it. Mm -hmm. So, uh oh, they left a stem. Uh -oh. <laughs> Jamie, get over here so we can pop your knuckles uh -huh. with this, not the small wooden spoon. <laughs> <laughs> but with, All right. But with this one. So we got. Let me bring your knuckles over here. <laughs> do y'all remember that paddle I used to have? That we would take away from you? Uh huh. I do remember. Y'all would grab it and run away laughing at paddle? me. It's somewhere here. 
Is it here? Yeah. I need it for Lynn. <laughs> no, you don't. You can't be hitting on my baby. never hit my children. No. I got one daughter that looks exactly like me. And when she wears a dress, it's so funny because Golly. I said, oh, there's my baby Bobby Dean, and he's wearing a dress. <laughs> I, I somehow, at 50 years old, have triplets that are all going on two years old, for anybody who doesn't know. And I either did it exactly right or I did it exactly wrong by waiting so late to have children. But it is Bobby, can the you... joy that I never, uh, never knew. I know. Just I told you. Mama told did you. Unbelievable. Uh, but you know what? <clears throat> Wrap it up. What would be terrible would be having three babies at 20 years old. Oof. And not hey, figured, not having figured out your future yet. Well, well, so I think that you're you're so fortunate that to, I figured out my future. Yeah, that you're you're settled and you don't have to worry about where you're gonna get milk money from. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it's such a blessing. But you know, there's pros and cons to both ways. But just not to be under tremendous financial pressure is yeah. is a great well, thing. Well, I am. Dump the greens. Okay. I They've put me under tremendous financial pressure. <laughs> so that looks great. Doesn't it look great? So, but what's the and point I, here? I'm the not point adding... neck bones or the collard greens? Well, that, that, you can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't add any more water to it, y'all. Just what Eddie showed you. So all I have to do, Eddie, if you will show, come around here and let me show them. All I have to do is line up the arrow with the open, turn, and close. Mm. That is it. And I'm going to put this on for about 16 more minutes, and we'll come back and let y'all see the finished product. Otherwise, this process would have taken maybe an hour and a half to two hours if you were doing it on the stove. To cook collard greens. Yes. Yeah. And, after, but, but, and don't they get... Um... Like, you can overdo them, right? Well, it's kind of hard because, like, they'll be best tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, the collard greens are ready. Mm, they smell so good. Uh, you know, I cook the neck bone in the pressure cooker for 15 to 20 minutes. I, <laughs> and I put uh, the greens in, and I think I cook them for 16 or 17 minutes. So, so fast. I know. Because collard greens on the stovetop take an hour. Right. Oh, that's that's just for the greens. Mm -hmm. That ain't counting the meat. Okay. All right. So now steak? we can't. Our our top will not open until we've released all the pressure. And I had already released the pressure, so we're safe to open up now. But you'll hear, and you'll see and hear steam just pouring out, and you don't want to attempt take this lid off until there's nothing coming out. Mm -hmm. And when you open it, you always want to open it away from you because steam... Two more, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> steam, I think steam burns Ooh. worse than the actual hot. Uh, I've, I, I've always heard it said that you'd rather be burned by flame than by steam. You know, I, all I, cooks have right. that have that debate. I burned myself with some steam a day or two ago, and it, it made me curse. I'll take neither <laughs> if I get a choice. I know it. A burn's bad. Yeah. All right, so I want oh you to gosh, look. Look at that. Look at our neck bones, would you? And it just smells like Sunday supper in uh -huh. here. Mm-hmm. Little and, lace cornbread. Oh, oh gosh. Don't some, even say it, son. Some cream potatoes. Some lace cornbread. Um, I said lace cornbread. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. So. There you go. <laughs> They're warm. I, I I taste them a little bit. Jamie, what? don't put that <laughs> back. Get, get, get in a facial. That's that's like putting time. a briquette in your mouth, a charcoal briquette that's burning. No. Yes, it's hot. How much hot sauce you put in here? A lot. I did sneak a taste, but look at those neck bones. That has fallen off the bone. 
Here, Bobby. You can have that for you. I, I, well, I love he coverage. took one and you took the other. Here. Well, I, so I did it for you. Well, so slowly. Paula, recap what you did with the collards because you did the you did the neck bones for how long? It's more. Yeah, I cooked the neck bones for about 15 or 16 minutes. In the pressure cooker? Wait. In the pressure cooker, under pressure. And uh, when the, when I was done with that, I put the collard greens in there. And I probably put a cup and a half of water, just a little bit for the neck bones. And that's all the water I added. Because remember, in a pressure cooker, you don't lose any of your liquid through evaporation. So. So good. Did you like them? I did. Mm. Greens are super tender. They're, um, there's a lot of hot sauce in there. I didn't know I put that much hot sauce yeah, in there. Yeah, you did. But they're great. But it's ever more good. So good. Those salty so too. Mm-hmm. Some lace cornbread. Mm -hmm. Some Do cream. you think they're too salty? No, I think they're good. Some lace cornbread, some um, cream potatoes, maybe. You know what? Um, they're gonna be too too salty for great grapes. Some of that country fried steak and gravy that I smell and see right mm -hmm. there will be good right next to that. And what's for dessert? Salty. Like peach cobbler? How about some ice cream? <laughs> okay, let's take a break, get some ice cream. Good. <laughs> we'll be back. To soothe the burn, y'all. Bye! Yeah. Love and best dishes! Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.